Hey, Pinksters. Now today I'll be explaining you how to fix a certain kind of import error in Python, which says cannot import name X. Now here X is the name of the module that you are trying to import. Now there are a couple of ways that you can use to fix this error. But before diving into the ways of fixing this error, let us try and understand why this error occurs. Now, first and foremost, let us understand when does the import error generally occur? An import error in Python occurs if the import statement within your code experiences a difficulty in successfully importing a module. Now, commonly such an issue occurs because of a faulty installation of an external library or an invalid path to the module that you are trying to import. Now this brings us to the question, when does the import error cannot import name X occurs? This kind of import error generally occurs when the class that you are trying to import is in a circular dependency. Now, what does that mean? That is, what is circular dependency? Circular dependency generally occurs when two modules try to import each other simultaneously such that both of them are dependent on each other. Now to further explain this, we need to have a look at an example. So without further delay, let's have a look at an example to understand how and when this error occurs. Okay. Now let's say we have a couple of modules. These modules are x.py and y.py. Now before moving into the import statements, let us have a look at the contents of these modules and then we will look at the import statements. So as you can see, the y module has a couple of functions which are y underscore 1 and y underscore 2. Similarly, the x module has a single function which goes by the name x underscore 1. Now let's move on to the import statements. As you can see that within the y module, we are importing x underscore 1 from the module x. So as you can see that x underscore 1 is a part of this module, which is x. So we are trying to import this function from this module, that is x. Similarly, within the x module, we are trying to import the function y underscore 2, which is a part of the y module. So we use the statement from y import y underscore 2. Now let's focus on the y module. As you can see that the function y underscore 1 prints y1 and then it loads the function x underscore 1. And where is x underscore 1? x underscore 1 has been imported from the module x. So this is x underscore 1 within our module x. So this should print x1 and then once again x underscore 1 calls the method y underscore 2 but y underscore 2 is now again a part of the y module. So as you can see both these modules are interdependent on each other. Now in this case when you use a statement like this where is that is from x import x underscore 1 and from y import y underscore 2 this is where a circular dependency occurs. Now, if we execute the Y module, the expected output or the output that we are expecting should be something like this Y1, since Y1 is being called initially. Then we move on to the function X underscore one, which is a part of the X module. So the next output should be X1. And then finally, we call the function Y underscore two, which is a part of the y module so it should print y2 so this is what we are trying to print but will we get this output when we execute the code let's go ahead and find that out okay now as you can see we have an import error which says cannot import x underscore one from partially initialized module so this majorly occurs because of the circular dependency. Now, some of you might still be wondering what exactly is this circular dependency? Simply put, the problem is occurring 
because we are trying to access the contents of one module from another module and vice versa before the contents of the module are ready or initialized. If you have a look at this module, that is the Y module, we are trying to import the function X underscore one from X before X underscore one has been initialized. That is when the program begins, Python is still initializing the contents of the X module, but we are not giving ample time to Python to initialize the function X one and we are directly calling it. Thus, we encountered this import error. Also in this case, that is within the X module, we are doing something similar. We are not giving Python ample time to initialize the contents of the function Y underscore two, which once again leads to the import error. Now the question here is, will Python throw the import error every time we use the from and import statements to import the contents of one module into another module? The answer to this is no, it won't. It will only throw this kind of import error, which says cannot import name X underscore one when both the modules are interdependent on each other, as you can see in this example. So now I hope that you have a clear idea about circular dependency and why the import error cannot import name X occurs. Now our next task is to find out how we can fix this error. There are two ways which you can use to fix this error. The first way is to avoid the circular dependency and Python can do it by itself. Now what happens in cases like this is that an empty placeholder is created for each module. That is initially the modules do not contain any content. Once the modules that are circularly dependent on each other are compiled, Python automatically updates the imported module. So this means there will be an empty placeholder created for each module. And as soon as the code is compiled, the contents of each module will be updated in those placeholders. However, for Python to resolve the problem in the way that I told you, you have to make certain changes to your code. Now do not worry, there is not much to it. You do not have to make any structural changes to the code. All you have to do is to modify the import statement. Instead of importing the contents of the module, simply go ahead and import the entire module itself. So let's say import X when we are within the Y module. And when we move inside the X module, let's simply go ahead and import Y. Now you might be wondering, how do I access the contents of each module from the other module in that case? It's quite simple. You just have to choose the name of the module dot and then the function or the class or any other content of the module that you want to use. So X is the module that we imported and X underscore one is the function that we want to call from the other module, which is X. Similarly, within the X module, we are importing the Y module. And now within the function X underscore one, we want to call Y underscore two, which is a part of the Y module. So all we have to do is use Y dot Y underscore two. And that's it. This is going to resolve the error for you. So if you do not believe me, let's go ahead and check this out. If this works. And there we go. This is the exact output that we were expecting and we have successfully resolved the error. Now, if you do not want to make changes to the logic that you used, or you do not want to make changes to the import statements that you used, there's another way of resolving this problem. So this is how the import statements look previously, which led to the import error. Let's execute this once again. So this was the code that led to the import error. And now what you can do here is 
instead of using the import statements at the beginning, simply go ahead and use the import statements within the function wherein you need the help of the other module. So this means within the Y module, I'm calling X underscore one, which is a part of the X module within the function Y underscore one. So what I will be doing here is I will simply use my from and import statements within the function Y underscore one instead of using it at the top that is as soon as I start my program. Now, this is generally the case or this is generally the convention that you should use in normal cases. That is, you should use the import statement in the beginning itself. However, in this case, to avoid the circular dependency, we are using the import statement within the function wherein we need the help of the other module. Now, similarly, within X, we have the function x underscore one within which we are calling the function y underscore two, which is a part of the y module. So I'll go ahead and simply use the import statement within the function x underscore one. Now this will give Python ample time to initialize all the contents of both the modules. Therefore, it will avoid the situation of circular dependency and we will not have the import error. This also allowed us to simply import only the content or the function in this case from the other module instead of importing the entire module. So this is also another advantage of repositioning the import statement within your code. So let's go ahead and execute this to find out if this works. And there we go. This is the exact output that we were expecting. And we have once again resolved the error. So I hope this helped you. And if you have any queries, please mention them in the comments below. And I'll try my best to answer all your queries and doubts. And if you enjoyed learning, please give a like to this video and share the contents as much as you can. And do not forget to subscribe our channel to keep getting videos like this, wherein we try to resolve a problem every day. That's it for this lecture. Goodbye.